Hello folks, how are we doing? I'm so sorry, I only have technical issues on nights that I have events, I swear. But uh, I'm all good now. I'm ready to start. How's it going, Dylan Music? Very nice to see you both. Hope you're doing well. We're going to get going here with a little bit of Guardians of the Rift. Should we go to our own world? Is that going to be better? What do you guys think? I'm worried about everyone being able to get into this world. It's, it's, it, um, it's, it's scales, I think. I'd like to play on another world, not mass. I just don't want to ruin it for other people if they prefer mass. I'm a newbie. It should scale, but... Let's go to 485. Let's do 485. Let's. I think we can do this. So, the way that we need to do it is everyone needs to grab a thing and start using it at the beginning. Um, that's really the biggest difference, is that you need to. Um, is that you need to grab a, a what's it called? A uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, everyone needs a chisel. So everyone grab a chisel really quick. Weak cell, thank you, a weak cell. Everyone grab a chisel. Because we're going to need to make the things. And power up the guys. Chisel and pick is all we need, right? Yeah, chisel and pick and then your rune pouches, basically. I think it can be fun. We can just give it a shot, heck, right? Is this everyone? Was there anyone else at the world? There's Blaze Deku was there, but I didn't see him after a while, right? I think he might have gone in. Well, he might have gone in. Okay, I'm going to switch. Him a PM or something? Um, you could play without Chisel. Yeah, I think you can play without ch uh, ch Only if you want to create Guardians, not everyone needs Chisel. Yeah, I'll do I'll do Guardians for sure. So let me just switch this minigame thing. All I'm going to do is edit this really quick for two seconds. And change it so that if anyone comes to 40... So if anyone comes, they'll know it's World 485 instead. Modify the event to... Bam. No, I'm all done. Cool. Now it says 485. Let's just go in. We'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll work, right? Let's go. At the start, everyone grab 10 uncharged cells and one weak cell. Yes. Place weak cell at the shield spot to create a shield, then go mining. So yeah, everyone grab a weak cell, and then we just want to put it on one of these. So everyone pick their own, right, is what it is. Cool, and then we go mining. Should be easy. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. We got this, folks. We got this. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Hope everyone's doing well, by the way. Thanks for your patience today. What? Siri just said you're welcome. Oh, Siri just talked to me. <laughs> That's funny. Siri thought I was talking to her. Doing good. Doing good. It should be a fun time. I'm not sure how much do I grab. You'll mine until there's about 30 seconds left, Dill. At 30 seconds is when I head out and start making the actual essence. At least I do. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's other strategies that people have. 
and we work at the workbench. And then we probably want to make some Rift Guardians for sure. Yeah, that's a good call. Heal Main Shield. Cool, cool. All right, it's Death. Oh, do I make it? Oh, no, I'll do Fire really quick. Psh, we got this, folks. We got this. Surely. Southwest. <clears throat> yeah, the main thing is building those those walls, I think. Making guardians and everything and and all that good stuff. How are our walls looking? They're looking good. That's good. People were participating at the beginning, which means that it should be pretty okay. I'm going to heal this main one up here. And then head into nature, I think. Glad to see you up and running fully recovered from the 24 hour stream. Yeah, it went well, Tank. I'm, I'm up and I'm go doing well, friend. It was a crazy time, but uh, but I'm really glad I did and I'm having a good time. Having a good time. How are you doing, Tank? Very nice to see you, friend. Very, very nice to see you. We're doing a little bit of Guardians of the Rift if anyone would like to join us. I'm doing alright, just grinding and big chilling. You'll love to see it, Tank. You'll love to see some big chilling. That's good stuff, my friend. I'm happy for you. We got fire again here. Very nice. Looks like we're doing okay. Looks like we're doing okay. An excess amount of energy is a good thing. I think I'm gonna heal the shield here. I'm gonna heal that main one up top. And see if I can make it to this portal now. Very nice. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of Guardians of the Rift. This will be good for uh, for a little bit of money for sure, but mostly for that Guardians of the Rift outfit, which I'm excited for. I miss it. Oh, very sad. Missing the portal sucks. <laughs> the rhythm's thrown off a little bit just because I'm not used to like building everything. Uh, yeah, like I normally don't build the guys, but uh, obviously I am this time for the group and everything, but... I'll build a guy here. Very nice. Lots of blood and fire today. That's good. That's good news. We like to see that. Aloha, Teeters. How are we doing, friend? Very nice to see you. Very, very nice to see you.
I think I mine till the next portal. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I have no chance getting back on rhythm. Yeah. Unless you just do it there here. The man, the myth, the teeters. You'll love to see it. <laughs> You'll love to see teeters. Dale's got us with a giant guardian. Looking good. I'm going to take a weak sell and build one really quick. That's probably a good idea. Just in case. A barrier has been destroyed. Okay, we gotta go fix that barrier. Okay, we gotta go fix that barrier, folks. We can do this. Oh, it's blood. That's good. Blood is good. I will fix that thing with an overpowered cell here. I've never seen a video of this minigame fully played through. Oh, it's fun, yeah. I like it. It's uh, it's a unique minigame for sure. It's uh, it's an interesting one. Oh, Mr. Bensworth has got it, dude. You love to see it. Okay. We're looking good now. We craft. Oh, this is intense when you're doing it in small group, isn't it? <laughs> I gotta get myself that that outfit. I really do. Yeah, it feels a bit more involved. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about those portals. Oh yeah, Dill. When the portals come, go ahead and just head to a portal if you do, if you're not super close to filling your essence pouch pouches. Tank it's really not bad without uh definitely worth learning. Pulled the lantern my first draft after two to three games. Very nice, very nice. That's a good thing to get early on. Let's see, I'm gonna go see if I can make this law here. Very nice. Law is a pretty powerful one. Head up here. Fix this barrier, I think. Head over to the portal. Yeah, it's a pretty fun minigame. It's uh it's good room crafting experience too, which is the best part. Really pretty solid overall for room crafting, honestly. Let me incest move moves. <laughs> oh, I didn't get my last one in. Very sad. I have to have debates on how to balance other making cattle palace moves twice to get rewards, but the real trick is getting as much hole in either round per round and the next balance the other way. That makes sense, yeah. That's a good way to do it. I've only seen the beginning and then for loot reviews and not what uh, and whatnot. It's awesome to see the full experience. Yeah, it's a fun game. I like it. Personally. I will right, we'll grab a weak cell here.
shouldn't take two cells. You just destroy that one because it's going to get destroyed at the end of the game anyway. Hmm? I was just gonna say, it's not going away, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are two different points still. So basically the way that it works is you'll get points in, um, in elemental and catalytic, depending on which ones you do. And you'll want to try to balance them out for the reward. So you can only get a reward from the reward guy if you have one point in elemental, one point in catalytic. And it's a hundred ele elemental energy or catalytic energy to get one point in that. And so you have to have 200 total, 100 in each, then you get one pull in the rewards, if that makes sense. Kind of complicated, but basically just try to keep them easy as you can. Or as, uh, as equal as you can, I mean. <clears throat> Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> basically, just try to keep, you know, yeah, just, yeah, just try to keep him even, basically. It's not too important um, until you do it long term. Gotta watch a guide or something on it. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. That did help, but uh, you're doing pretty well so far. I mean, we did a round that totally worked fine, so that's good. Oh, and all the skilling gear. Yeah, the skilling gear is nice. This is a really good outfit for runecrafting, too. Makes you a lot more money through the course of, of your uh, journey to 99, which is really nice. Dill and I are on tick. We are tick perfect here. Me and Dill, you'll love to see it. Oh, never mind. I'm not anymore. <laughs> Plus easy mining XP from um, from what I see. Yeah, a little bit of free mining XP, which is nice. Not insane, but definitely not zero. A little bit of room or uh, crafting XP, I mean, as well, which is good. They did put a cap on the mining XP, yeah, that's true. So it's not as good as it used to be, but uh, still not terrible. Plus crafting signed me up, honestly. It's a pretty solid deal, to be honest. People were just using a super AFK without even playing, yeah, it was kind of a mess. It ruined games for a lot of mass worlds, which was... Not ideal. <laughs> I can see that honestly, yeah, it happened a little, a little too much, so they had to cap it. Luckily, not a problem anymore. But you still get some mining experience, just not insane. A little bit of, a little bit of a lot of things though. <clears throat> All right, let's go make some water runes, baby. I'll make a guy here actually kind of like how people use blast furnace to afk smithing right um or strength right is what you mean yeah you can do it for strength Filling up the pouches here, very nice. A 
looking good, filling up the inventory here. I think I'm gonna go make some air runes. Let me see an agility when using the bike and smithing when running. Uh, let's see, oh, when running, or oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I guess, you, yeah. There's, a, there's actually a way to do strength as well though. There's like a little pump thing that you can do. So some people do that way as well, which is interesting. Look at me and Sarah recharging that barrier like champions. <laughs> this is fun. I'm glad we're doing this. I love these little group events. I love you guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Dale's got a little Uno reverse card for me there. All right, very nice. Let's do some death runes here. Oh, altar of death, please make it. Oh, very sad. Oh, there's fire though, that's good. I'm so close to green logging the tithe from RB there. Oh, no worries, Teeters. You go, you go get that, uh, get that nice, nice green log. I forget what uh, you said you had left. What do you have left exactly? Can we need minigames night uh, of something. Yeah, it's fun. Herb sack. There you go. Got to get that herb sack. We're going to throw the wife out of this one. Sounds good. Sounds good, Brandon. No worries, friend. Tell your wife we said hi. And tell her that you're a champion at runecrafting. <laughs> My nephew was born at 7.39 p.m. today. Yay! Very fun. Very, very fun. Will do, exactly. Exactly. And he was a he was a big baby, right? From what I remember you saying, he was a big dude, a little chonky friend. Congratulations, indeed. I bet being an aunt or an, an uncle is so fun. I mean, I'm a, I'm a parent, so I have that side of it. But the nice thing about being an aunt or an uncle is that you can have all the fun without any of the responsibility right <laughs> yes you'd be induced from what I remember you saying all right let's do catalytic here let's do some chaos Unless you don't live close, then it's hard to be a good aunt or an uncle. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of far away from my siblings, but close to Sarah's siblings. So it's kind of a half and half thing with being able to be close with some of them. I love I love the side look to the wifey to see if you were in trouble for saying it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, a barrier's been destroyed. Yikers. Not the name of the kids anytime soon. Yeah, it's true. Only a, one of them's married and... Uh, and they said they're not looking to do kids anytime soon from what it sounds like. Oh no, the Great Guardian is being destroyed. He's being smacked around a bit. Unf oh gosh. Okay, we might we might be done, folks. Uh uh <laughs> Maybe the Great Guardian will make it through this. Oh, I can power him up a little bit. Oh, he's getting hit. He's getting smacked. <laughs> Yikes. We got this, folks.
Is, is it if he gets to zero? Is that what it is? Come on, come on. Don't die on us, great guardian. You powerful guardian. Okay, two barriers have been destroyed. <laughs> we might be done here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's at 26%. You guys are having funny guardians drift tonight? We're having an all right time. It's about to go a little bit less well in just a second here, but. A barrier has been destroyed again. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I think we're done for. Might as well get this free rune crafting. Let's hop out over to a mass world. I think that'll be easier. We did really well in the first one, but it's so unpredictable sometimes on what exactly you need to do. We need more guardians, I guess. Yeah, something like that. It's hard to know, really. Oh gosh, it is overrun, dude. Yep, he's dead. Should we just head to a mask world, do you think, Sarah? I could see either way. I mean Brandon's leaving and Brandon's one of the one of the the masters. Um, that's fair. Oh I got pearls, nice. Yeah, that's fair hard to do one fewer person especially yeah exactly yep let's just go to the other world that's fine it was fun i mean i i'm, I'm still having a good time i'm just heading to world 490 if anyone still wants to join us there We just gotta wait uh, probably like two or three minutes for this game to end. I got two poles of pearls that time, very nice. Well, this is the first time I'm getting certain kinds of runes because I don't have a stack in my bank. Kind of exciting. Guess I might as well keep this death talisman to put in the bank or to sell, I mean. <laughs> okay, cool. My wife's taking my dog out, so we'll we'll be ready in just a minute here. We had a game one, not sure what happened. Game two, yeah, it's just, I feel like it's hard to know exactly what the problem is because I feel like we were making a decent amount of things, you know, but sometimes it's just hard to know. I That's the first time I've ever done um, small team, but I hear that you got to sometimes just be really on, uh, really on point, excuse me, really on point with certain things. Then it's hard to know exactly where things go wrong, you know? This one may end up better. Yeah, this one will be totally fine. There won't be any problems with this one smooth, which is good. What kind of dog you have? Oh, we have a cockapoo. I'll, I'm happy to show them to you in just a second, Tank. Once my wife brings them back in. It's more difficult on small teams. It's definitely mechanics and timing. Exactly, Teeters, yeah. Definitely harder. Definitely harder. They're halfway done with this game, which is good, and then we'll get going. Oh, what now? A cockapoo. So he's a Cocker Spaniel Poodle Mix. He's, it's kind of a funny name. Yeah, cockapoo. <laughs> He's a little dude. He's like 15 pounds. I think he's like 18 now. I think he's a little chunkier than he used to be, but <laughs> he's, a, he's a good little dude. He's a sweetheart. He is a sweetheart for sure. <clears throat> is that a new breed? It's not super new. Uh, let me see. When were Cockapoo's first bred? <laughs> It looks like the 1960s, so or an early-ish dog, you know, or a uh, new-ish dog, I mean. <laughs> I 
Um, let me show you a picture of what he looked like when he was a baby. This is what he looked like when he was a baby. Oops. What am I doing here? This isn't my dog, just to, to clarify. But this is what he looked like when he was little. And uh, he looks pretty similar to it now. He's obviously just not a puppy anymore. But this is kind of what they look like. They're really cute. We're we're big fans of Iro is his name. <clears throat> he is a sweet, sweet, sweetheart. Maybe it's been around and just never came across one. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Been around for a little while, it would seem, but uh but not forever. Not the most common dog either, I think. I mean poodle pig poodle mixes are fairly common these days, but you know, cute little football, yeah. He was a he was a stinking cute puppy. Holy cow! And he's getting uh, he's getting, um, and turned kind of into an older older dog now, which is fun. Hey, what's up, Glocky World? How we doing, friend? Nice to see you. Very nice to see you, Glocky World. How are you? I saw there's Barrows competition starting on Discord. I'm not sure if I want to join or do something else. I did Varlamore quest today, and this new Barrows like some mini game was fun. It's a fun one. I really like Perilous Moons myself. Nobody. You can join it and and just uh, you can just like click yes, and then if you don't end up participating, that's totally fine. It's a week long thing, and so uh, if you don't end up doing it, it's not a problem. Just you might as well click join, and then uh, if you end up doing it, great. And if not, there's literally no harm done. You'll just have a chance at winning some GP. So. But I'll show you my dog here. Is he is he coming? Iro. Iro, come here, pup. Huh? Oh, come here. Iro. This is my dog. This is Iro. Iro, say hi. Hello. He's looking at the uh, at my at my wife right now. But he's a cutie. What do you need for Barrows again? Is it a quest? No, you mostly just need um, mostly need mage arm or mage weapons. Uh, sorry, a mage weapon and mage armor or uh, melee armor. I mean, you actually they actually have such low mage defense that you can just wear melee armor and use a mage weapon on them. That's the main thing. I would just look up a guide for it, Dill. It's a pretty uh, low-level thing that you can uh, get away with having low-level gear. I mean, and so pretty much anyone can do it. It's not too bad at all. Hi, puppers. Hi, puppers. Indeed. Ninety-four percent, almost ready. I'm good. What's your levels looking like now, Glocky? On uh, so this is my main account. And I'm at I'm max on my main, but what a, what account are you what account are you thinking about? Are you thinking about the? Uh, I've got a lot of accounts, I guess. I got a lot of serious going on. Which one are you curious about? Yep, a little fluff I've only raised hounds and retrievers. Those are cool dogs, Tank. I love big dogs too. Sarah and I used to have a big dog, and now we have a small dog. And I think we'll stick with small dogs for the most part. But we kind of want a big dog. Uh, we want a husky, but they have so much hair. It's hard. It's hard to know what to do, especially because you can only have so many dogs. Your whole life, you know. All right, everyone, get ready to click. We have two cats and two bunnies right now. Very fun. It looks like this world isn't full, so that's good. We should all be able to get in. I'm guessing there won't be too big of a problem with getting in. Bernice or Golden Retriever comes next. Oh, very fun. Golden Retrievers are such sweethearts. Bernice Mountain Dogs are so cool too. Whoops. I did the thing. Did you do the thing, Sarah? Oh, but you're good. <laughs> good. <laughs> B 
Dunkin' Donut got their abyssal needle. Good for them. Also, the chat at uh, Winter Todd or at Temporos is kind of degenerate. Regardless of what side you're on about anything, there'll always be something to disagree. You just said Winter Todd or Temporos. Oh, I said Winter Todd or Temporos. I meant Guardians of the Rift. <laughs> Raising rabbits is fun. Just have, uh, let's see, what was that? That word's getting, just hate it. They taste good. So good. <laughs> That's so funny. Just hate that they taste so good. That's funny. Can y'all grow a brain long enough to not let the greater guardian die? <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. We got a little bit of uh, Guardians of the Rift going here. Should be a fun time. The experience is so much better with Entity Hider on and public chat muted. <laughs> yeah, I, I muted public chat too. We're pretending there's no one else here right now. Just us. Goldens can be psychos. I hear that too. I've known golden retrievers that are just so sweet. And then I've known ones that are crazy. All right, a little bit of Guardians of the Rift, folks. We got this. Is it still raining out there, I guess? Yeah, he was wet when he came in. He kind of stinks now that it's been wet. Got to give him a bath or get him groomed or something. Honestly, maybe we should do that tonight so it doesn't stink up your family. Fire, very nice. Yo, Mr. Chandler, how's it going, Nomad? Very nice to see you, friend. How are you? How the heck are you? Oh, I'm gonna miss this portal so bad. What am I doing? I went to fire instead of the portal. Oh my gosh. I am struggling, dude. I guess I'll just mine for a while. That was awful. That was messy. Max had a golden name, Chase, but he's a grumpy old man. <laughs> what if he found a human he liked? You were his pillow. Make sure you're clean with a lick bath. Oh, that's cute. That's fun. That is fun. Good. I just finished watching a YouTube video. Auto cue me into the stream. Oh, there you go. That's a good way to do it, Nomad. <laughs> hey, thanks for the subscription, Noto's Pills. Hope you're doing well, friend. Hope you're doing well. Oh, fun except you'd smell. Exactly. <laughs> Stinking family feelings and making people and themselves stink. No, that's what I mean. Like... Wait, what did I say? Stink up your family? I guess I meant get them annoyed. <laughs> this Rollamore thieving is so nice. I haven't done it, but is it uh, is it pretty nice, Nomad? I hear it. I hear people saying it's really AFK, which is nice. Let's <laughs> we'll leave them stinky just to spite them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't have the nicest breaths. Yeah, that that happens, tanks. That happens. All right, surely we get a portal soon. It's a taste of how pickpocketing was with a trickster relic. Man, I miss trickster sometimes. 
that AFK thieving was so, so nice. Getting keys is a bit of a pain, but once you get a nice stack of keys, it's great. Oh, nice. And you get the keys from the, um, from the wealthy citizens. Is that right, Nomad? <laughs> to the south, there we go. Surely someone gets the pet tonight, right? Surely, surely. I wonder if you can get the mining pet from here. That'd be wild. I can smell Iroh from here since he's wet. <laughs> kind of smelly when it rains. I guess they get very distracting and you, uh, they get distracting. You can AFK thief them. Once you get keys, you enter houses to AFK more while you steal. Not bad. Sounds like a pretty fun way to do it. Alright, let's go make some more here. We'll deposit runes in the portal first. <clears throat> you know what I haven't looked at in a long time? I haven't looked at the leaderboards for who spent the most time in the stream. I'm interested to see now. Let's see, let's check that out. Iro like Uncle Iro, it absolutely is Teeters. That's his name. Is Teeter or is uh, is Teeters? Is uh, Uncle Iro inspired? He'll be Uncle Iro one day when he's old. Amazing, yeah. He's a he's a good he's a good boy, and he'll be a good old man boy one day. Next one will be named Teeters. <laughs> there we go. That's nah, a good name for a dog. G I M Teeters. <laughs> no. Going for 500 keys. That's pretty impressive, Nomad. Does the, uh, is there a, um, like, what are the rewards? Is it mostly money or is it other stuff or how does it work? I mean, I know you get the thieving experience, but what do you actually steal with the keys? Always think about the name and having to yell it. Yelling teeters will sound off. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. All right, let's craft again. It's coins and some bone shards. Oh, bone shards, that's good. That's really good. That's good for the irons. And it's, I think it's 50 thieving, if I'm remembering right, to, to thieve the wealthy citizens. That's a good test. Are you, are you down to yell the name? <laughs> I like that, Teeters. The keys just get you valuables, though, right? Yeah, I think you trade in the valuables, I think, is what it is to that sketchy person, right? The shady character, whatever is their name is. All right, we got to do some air here to even out our points. They trade in for coins, gotcha. That makes sense. It's 110 KGP and, and 1825 bone charge per hour for me so far. Oh, not bad. Let's see. So that's, uh, yeah, that, that's cool. That's not bad. I think, right? For like a mid-level thieving method. Sounds pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry, 825 bone shards, not 1825. Oh, 825. Okay. Cool, cool. I like it. I like that you get the bone shards from various things. I think that's really nice. Get some training, uh, some prayer XP, I mean, when you do hunter, when you do thieving, when you do bossing, or mini games, whatever you want to call perilous moons. I think that's a cool thing that they added. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Alright, what's next? Looks like we got Chaos on Earth. Good for Chaos. Or good for Sarah. She always likes chaos. Are you still going for chaos these days, Sarah? Kind of, maybe not. Not as much. What our cheap 99 prayer will be is going to be with it. Um, are they tradable or how does it work?
dog name test. Can you yell it outside without feeling embarrassed? That's a that's a good thing to think about. No, you can bless regular bones. Oh, you can bless regular bones. Interesting. Can you scold the dog without laughing? That's funny. I'm trying to think if I want to leave or not. Now nah, I want to stay. I just take to, to get my rewards. I mean, I'll stay though. Don't want to risk not being able to get back in. It's funny that you bring that up, Teeters, because Sarah, so Sarah and I had a dog, like I mentioned, his name was Reddington. And uh, Sarah and I both speak Chinese. We're, we're um, well, we were fluent at one point. We're, we're close to fluent. We haven't used it in a while, but well, I'll say we're fluent. We're fluent-ish in Chinese. And we wanted to train our dog in Chinese. And so we started doing that. And like sit is zuo and uh, come is guo lai. And what else? Like there's don't is bu yao. Like don't do that or like no or stop. And so we started training him in Chinese just because we thought it would be fun. And uh, the only problem with it is that Chinese is very easy to sound angry while you're speaking it. And so there were certain times when we'd be speaking to him in Chinese and be like, Booyow! and just get really like yelly. And like, we kind of found ourselves getting more angry as we were doing it because Chinese can sound really angry. And so we kind of like picked up the emotion of the of the tones that we were speaking, which is fourth tone, which means you say it, Yao, like Booyow, which is like really like intense, you know? That's how Chinese works with the tones. And so we like, kept yelling at him and we're like uh we're kind of just getting angry every time that we tell him to stop doing stuff and this so we switched to english and it was a lot better <laughs> but it was really funny for a while we were like screaming at him not screaming but yelling in chinese and it sounded like screaming so regular bones plus sunfire splinter equals blessed bones okay what's the story behind speaking chinese that's just a cool skill yeah we actually lived in in um in uh in in taiwan for a little bit we uh were teaching some english and doing some service over there and so uh while we were there that's kind of how we met is we uh we met over there and then once we got back we kind of reconnected but we lived in taiwan for a couple years which was super fun iro name him iro that's interesting i love that your emotion changed because of the tone inflection <laughs> talking about the baby names and ideas Ooh, baby names Raising a dog in German could be awesome. <laughs> Nine and barking. <laughs> That's funny. Name the baby Iro, exactly. Yeah, our, our emotion changed because of the tone inflections. It was funny. Because, like, command words in Chinese often have that fourth tone which means that you go down like guo or or zuo or or you know bu yao is that like starting high and going low in terms of your inflection and so it's very like ah uh, you know what i mean like yelling i bet he would love tea exactly teresa that's a good way to do it oh something happened with tiramisu the other day what was it someone was talking about maybe i saw a tiktok about tiramisu when i thought about you teresa i was like oh hey tiramisu <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had tiramisu. Have we had tiramisu together, Sarah? I kind of don't know if we have. It has coffee in it, but we had it at Tom's. Oh, we did have tiramisu in Taiwan, actually. That's right. We like our girl names. Need boy names. Ooh, boy names. We like James. We're a little partial to James. Um, I like the name Colin. I think Colin's a cool name. And Cooper. I like C names. Colin and Cooper. Um, Cooper is a, is, a, is a fun name, especially, I feel like. I like Lincoln. But then every time I think about my son, I think about Rhett and Link, so maybe not. <laughs> uh, what else? There's... Koopa Troopa up there. That's always an option, you know? That's always an option, Nomad. I can't argue with that. Good Mythical Morning. Gotta love Good Mythical Morning. I haven't watched it for a while. Classic of my favorite. James, John, Thomas, Matthew, etc. Just Bible names. Very classic names. Jack is a nice name. Ooh, Jack is a good one, yeah. Um, I'll do Earth Runes, yeah. Got to name the first son Chandler Jr., honestly. Chandler Jr. 
<laughs> we'll change our son's name to Chandler. How does that sound, Sarah? Chandler Jr. Jack is my middle name. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. The only difficulty with a strong first name like Jack is finding a suitable middle name. That's true. That's true. We do like James as a name. James is a, is a solid one, I feel like. That's why we went with it, obviously, but... <laughs> A little biased there. Can't go wrong with James. It's a good one. What else do I like? I like the name. Um, I just I just kind of thought of Jack, but we already talked about Jack, so maybe that's a second vote for Jack, I guess. A subconscious second vote for Jack. All right, let's do let's do fire actually. Jimothy, there you go, ardent cause. How you doing, friend? Jimothy, I call him Jimothy sometimes. I like Jimothy. Jimothy's a fun one. <laughs> I have a little too much fun with Jimothy sometimes. All right, we gotta make this portal here, folks. We gotta make this portal. Please, I got 12 seconds. Jimmy's nickname or Stay James. Sarah is very against Jimmy. I don't care all that much, but I'm definitely going to call him Jimmy to T Sarah. So that's the main thing that I'll do there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sarah does not like Jimmy because he knows I hate it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff is a good one. I've always been a little bit um, partial to... Uh... Oh, I was actually going to say Steven. Seth is a good one. Sam. Sam is a, an alright one. Sarah had an ex-boyfriend named Sam, so we can't really do Sam, but... <laughs> That's funny. I wrote that before Teresa's marriage. That's funny. Ooh, we got Laws here. Where'd Law go? There it is. Well, I knew it, Jeff, but I always pronounced it G off on purpose. That's funny. Jeff is, uh, is a good name. Jeff is Sarah's father's name, but with a J. What no, what other names are there? I like the name. Hmm. There's a lot of good names. It's just hard to remember them in the moment. Don't do long names, you lose ticks when filling out forms, and that means XP ways. Dude, that is the best life hack I've ever heard. <laughs> you lose ticks, and you don't want to lose ticks. <laughs> Jeff equals general electro on electronics off. <laughs> oh, is Lidros here? Doesn't look like it. Grand exchange off, honestly. That's the real one. I am. Ardent Cost is going to get it. There you go. Right here, you'll love to see it. Oh, someone actually just got a catalog of talisman. And in my brain, I actually thought that someone got it. And then for a second, I thought that you got it. I was like, whoa. Why not do combo room crafting here? It gives more points. I actually have just never tried it. I hear it's better, but I've just never tried it. Um, so I don't really know the ins and outs of it. I mean, I know how to do. I know how to do combo room crafting, like I've done it for lavas, but I've never looked into the logistics of actually how to do it. Probably would be worth it. So good, is it really? Maybe I'll look into that. Yeah, but then you have to bring a million talismans, right? No, you can bring. Um, there's a there's a spell. Is it lunar? I think it's a lunar spell that uh, you don't need the talismans for, Sarah. Doing combo right now, really? Yeah, is it going well? I'm gonna wait here for a different catalytic actually. Mind, not much better. No mission there, all you need is fire water ins plus the magic and beast spell on lunar. Very nice. Yeah, that's not too bad at all then. And binding necklaces, binding necklaces too, yeah. More points though, that makes sense. Thomas, a Thomas Adrian Armand, Arden, Basil, one of my favorites. Basil, that's a fun one. What do I like? I like out of those, probably Thomas. I think Thomas is a good name. 
Yeah, I think Sarah and I are really into like the simple, strong sounding names. But it's a bit longer process. You can easily get eight to 10 um, elemental points per run. That's nice. Basil is cute. 10 level points per game compared to eight without combo. Thomas on top, you'll love to hear it. That's not bad. That's a lot of points. I need more catalytic for sure. Let's go do the Guardian of Law right here. I like Tommy. Tommy's a good one. We almost made James's middle name Thomas. But we went with something else. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, not focusing on balance. Only balance at the end of, uh, of many runs. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, can I make it for this final one? Probably not. Maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll just get some free... Some free experience here. The Great Guardian is fully charged. I better get the heck out of here. Ooh, some free blood runes, not too bad. Do I make it? Do I get it to him? I really doubt it. Yeah, no. Okay. Destroy the catalytic guys. Drop the overcharged cell. I was here in charge after all. Oops, wrong chat box. That's funny. You can stand there while it ends, so you can start game off with the um, imbued essence. Oh, that's smart. I should have done that, Nomad. I should have done that. Any thoughts on names like Elvis or Santa? I wouldn't go for it personally, but... Was Elvis Elvis' his real name? That's a good question. Elvis maybe saying Santa probably not. Is Elvis? <laughs> you look up Elvis. Oh no, it says wife still alive. I thought it was gonna say is Elvis still alive. Is Elvis his real name? Elvis Presley is his birth name. Elvis Aaron Presley. Aaron's a good name too. I like the name Aaron a lot. Didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that's a good tip. Elvis Aaron Presley. Ardent knows. Ardent cause knows. Ardent Cause, I know you're someone in the clan, but who is it? What's your what's your in-game name? Force is also a good, strong, but older name. Aaron is a good name, yeah. Force is a good one, yeah. I like Christian. Christian's a good one, yeah. Christian's a solid name. A lot of good names, a lot of good names. It's lit. Oh, Lidros! Lidros, that's right. How you doing, friend? <laughs> I was like, I know you're someone. <laughs> it's just hard to keep up everyone's Twitch or YouTube names versus their, uh, their in-game name, you know what I mean? You love to see a Lidros in the chat. Oh, all good. I am good waiting for the next run to jump in. Very nice. Very nice, Lidros. We'll see in just a moment. I worked with Aaron. 1A, 2Rs. Oh, really? He had to explain his name to every new person. That makes sense. What, but I guess it was pronounced Aaron like that. Is that right, nobody? Especially mine. I know. Teeters. So hard. G-I-M teeters and teeters. Really got to work on that one. <laughs> so when he said, is Lidros here? He said, oh, right here. You weren't responding to the other thing he said. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. Yep. I understand that now. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. I like a name that starts with F. F is a good, uh, F a good, a good first letter. I like the name Fred, but I feel like I can't have a baby named Fred. I guess you call him Freddy. That would work. But there's some names that you like. You have to think about adult and child, you know? And I feel like James is really solid. 
for both. So that's why we went with it, obviously. <laughs> what did my balance end up being? Well, I'm balanced perfectly. That's great. I can do whatever I want then. Frederick then. Freddy as a boy. Frederick as a man. <laughs> That's how you go in life. Freddy until he's 18. Fred until he's 45. Frederick until he's dead. <laughs> the progression of Fred. I gotta do some Soul Wars one day. That'd be a fun mini game to do with the group, with the clan, with the uh, the stream. I mean. Sounds like a movie of the progression of Fred. We'll make an indie movie. That's what we'll do. It'll be directed by the stream members. Do we get some death here? That's nice. A little bit of death rooms. Honestly, I'll make an amount of money from this, which is not too bad. Anything helps. Anything helps. doing the rebuild yeah still doing oh my gosh i just left i just left on accident i clicked i just misclicked i clicked on the barrier oh my gosh that sucks well oh, that really sucks dude dang it oh man now i'm so mad i was getting my points i guess you still doing the rebuild yeah no i'm uh why are you doing guardian drift for rebuild just doing it uh for an event for the for the youtube sh uh for the stream people so I do events every once in a while. We have like the, uh, I mean, you're in the Discord, I guess, so you know, but we do that. So uh, we just have a fun time doing events. What did I get from this intricate pouch? Oh, a shield left half. <laughs> I guess we're together now, I guess so, Lidros. Sarah needs a shield left half. That's so funny. And a hard clue. Dude, that's actually wild RNG. That's actually insane RNG. That's crazy. How much left in this? Not 41%. Can I finish a hard clue by that? Probably not. That's so funny, dude. What the heck? Another gilding piece. <laughs> Another gilded piece, basically. Is that one of the best drops? Um, it's just very rare. It's not even that good. It's worth like 65k. It's just super rare to get, Dill. You are a spoon. <laughs> yeah, one of the rarest, probably. And a hard clue in the same one. That's actually kind of nuts, yeah. That's actually a little bit wild, dude. Sarah needs a shield left half right now. Like, that's what she's going for. Iron's crying everywhere, honestly. And this dirty, stinking main gets it. Can you believe it? That's so funny, dude. What the heck? How many points do I have? Or how many, uh... Abyssal Pearls. 43. So rude, honestly. <laughs> when the patch is actually wild, it's like third rarest, I think. I guess, I guess it probably is, yeah. Lidros, I love your uh, your your dragon pick with the uh, with the uh, the kit on it. I think that one looks so good. Oh, I guess I should probably wear my Varrock armor in here, shouldn't I? That's a good idea, actually. I should make a Guardian to the Rift tab as well. I didn't do that. Um. What is the the abyssal protector, right? Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Thank you. It does look sick. It does, honestly. I don't remember if Varrock armor helps here or not. Actually, science. Let's see. Let's look on the Wikipedia. Sixty percent right now. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Let's see if it does. I think it does. I feel like I see a lot of people doing it, and I can't imagine that many people are wrong. You can confirm it does, Sarah. Sarah thinks it does. Um, Rift. Okay, OSRS does Varrock armor work and Guardians of the Rift. Will apply when working, when mining for Guardian Fragments and Essence. Cool. Yep, it does work, in fact. We get a collection um, in game chat when you're mining. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? 
Yes, give some double rolls. That's good. That's good. Nice. Oh, Lidros, can I ask a small favor of you? Do you mind, um, if you're going to chat in stream, in the chat, do you mind joining the uh, the clan chat, and, or the, 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 the chat channel instead? It's uh, it's the French chat, Mr. Chendlar. It just makes it so people in the clan aren't confused about what's happening, since more since pretty much everyone in here is in the ch is in the stream but not in the in the clan if that makes sense yay Lidros is here you love to see it welcome welcome friend You've got the hat as well. Is that some black graceful there as well, Lidros? Looking very good. Oh, and the, oh you have the, the uh, what's it called? The lantern as well. I've had four lanterns, I think, but obviously I got rid of it for the rebuild. Guardians of the Rift. Yeah, I had... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't say, actually. I know I've had at least three. I think maybe four. Ooh, he's got the emotes as well. This is my personal favorite emote. But, uh, but, you know, I like this one a little bit, Lidros. <laughs> it doesn't say, no, it doesn't say how many you get. It just shows that I've gotten it in the first place. Like from the first one, you know? Although that's actually sick. It's a good one. I like it a little bit. <laughs> Where it doesn't say another th for other things. Uh, no, it doesn't show it for anything in there, but uh, that's a classic one, Lidros. The hypermobile drinker. Um, it doesn't show it for anything in Guardians of the Rift, for multiples, like intricate pouch or anything like that. I guess the only thing I've gotten two of is the Abyssal Lantern, though, so I don't know. I guess I've gotten two Catalytic Talismans, so it shows two of those, though. I gotta get Sepulchre done. I, I am impressed with how long you were at Sepulchre. I did Sepulchre to 99 when I was doing that skilling for maxing, and it was insane. Oh, sorry, that was Nomad that sent that. I thought it was Lidros. How close are you on uh, on 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 uh, Sepulcher being done, Nomad? What's the lantern for? There's a few benefits that you can get from it, Dill. You get it from here. It's pretty rare. It's like one in seven hundred. But there's a chance to um, have different. Yeah, exactly what Nomad said. Small passive effects like your runes or your pouch is never degrading. You get five percent extra points and things like that. Yeah, I was there for a while. I think like three days worth. Not bad, Lidros. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's a lot of uh, it's a lot of sepulcher, and I know from from experience. <laughs> a lot of guys there, but for other sections, yeah, it's, it depends on the the thing. I don't know why it's different in some in some places. I'm so mad that I left on uh, early. I mean, on accident. Oh my gosh, I always do the double click thing. I'm so bad at not doing that. Base of logs to use on it exactly. I need to get everything basically in the pet transmog. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be good for when I can get that pet transmog one day. It'll be a long time though. <laughs> Welcome back, thank you, Sarah. We got Lidros in here now. You'll love to see it. Well, I was gonna say, is it midnight already? Jeez, it's 11:30 though. You know what that means, folks. We're half an hour from a Diet Coke. Wait, have I had a Diet Coke during this stream yet? <laughs> I haven't, which means I get one right now. Dill's on top of it. Dill's on top of the, uh, of the Diet Coke consumption. <laughs> Grab me one, thanks. I got you, Dill. I got you right here. Ready? You'll love to hear it. I was about to say Diet Coke. <laughs> Gotta love the Diet Coke. I think I literally had 12 during my stream. My 24 hour stream, I mean. Which is kind of nuts, honestly. That smile is served only for Diet Coke. <laughs> I hope and my wife and son and maybe my dog. But <laughs> we have good smiles for us too, just different ones. It's the Diet Coke smile. It's a, it's a whole nother experience, you know? Oh, I'm getting a lot more Guardian Fragments actually from what I can tell. 
Yeah, to mine an additional ore. It's happened a few times. Can't wait for rune uh, for Renfest tomorrow. What is Renfest? About to drink so much. Sounds fun. They're gonna be free online. Is that Runefest? Is that what you mean, Litros? Is Runefest tomorrow? Are there gonna be any online free things from Runefest? Hopefully. I'm at Renaissance Festival. Oh, Renaissance Festival. Very fun. Hunter Runefest is coming up at some point, but I don't know when. When exactly it is. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, I always want to um, say this, but I always forget. If there's anyone in here who's not in our Discord, then uh, then exclamation point Discord in the YouTube chat will pull that up. And we have these events like twice a week, and we have week-long events every week as well. And you feel free to join those. There's GP prizes and everything like that. We have a good time chatting and showing our accomplishments. So exclamation point Discord if you'd like to join. We're happy to have anyone and everyone in there. So feel free to join if you'd like. No pressure, obviously, but... I always want to say that for the people that aren't in there yet, if they want to be. <laughs> Did I do the Diet Coke smile again, Sarah? No, that's the old message. Huh? That's the old message. Oh, I see, I see. See Renaissance Fair based on the drinking. That's fun. Never been to a Renaissance Fair myself, but uh, I hear they can be a good time. Keep moving my game box or my game window on accident. Let's wait for something better. Oh, I knew it was going to be fire. I could feel it in my bones. Are there candy apples there? Oh, I haven't had a candy apple in a long time. Oh, someone just got the chicken feet. Then again, I don't really like candy apples now that I think about it. I like, um, what do I like from, like, festivals and stuff like that? Yes, there sure are. Very nice. I like, uh, and that is what I want first. I feel like I like candy apples if they're not green. And if they're, like, seven inches of chocolate around them. So really just for the chocolate. I'm not a big, uh, not a big green apple guy. Big old turkey legs, tankers of beer. Very nice, Lidros. Very nice. The turkey legs and corn. I love ca uh, corn from, like, um, what was the thing we went to called? State Fair, yeah. Went to a state fair and got really good corn. Yeah, what Lidros said, you'll love to see it. Green apples are wannabe pears, and pears suck. <laughs> I like it. I like it, Nomad. Speaking of group events, any uh, chance for a TOB event? TOB is the only thing between me and a Questcape. We could do a little TOB event, a little entry mode TOB, get people their uh, their their quest capes and things like that. You know, I know a lot of people are missing that. Yeah, I'm down for uh, for that sometime. That'd be fun. Maybe that's the next one we can do. I haven't I haven't actually made a raid one yet, uh, a raids, a new one um, yet. So maybe we can do that. That'd be kind of fun. Entry mode TLB maps, let's go. We could totally do that. Yeah, I'll look into setting one of those up. Or TOA, yeah, we did TOA last week. You can absolutely help with top. That'd be awesome, Lidros. First time I went, I didn't know dressing up was normal. Want to do it next time? That'd be fun. We could do an entry mode mass. That wouldn't be too bad. Do for perp. Oh, Cox, please. I got to learn Cox. Oh, right, new to me, TBH, came back nine months ago. Oh, nice, yeah. I'm like 10 with zero purple on 250s. Oh, sadly, Dros. I, uh, I've had three purples, but it's been a while since I had the last one. I think the last one was right after leagues or during, yeah, right after leagues, I think. I got a, just a ring, but it wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Oh, I'm supposed to be mining, actually, right now. Whoops. Miami Masquerade. You love to hear it, Teeters. I'm impressed with your, uh, with your memory. Excuse me. It sure is Miami Masquerade. Oh, anyway, I was gonna say, um, with the uh, with the whole leaderboard thing on who's been in the stream the longest, like the longest time spent in the stream, it's uh, Sarah in first place, obviously, because she's here for pretty much every stream the whole time, and then Saderin, and then Dill is actually in third place, and then Music, Teresa, Carterino, Photographic, Zogon, Teeters, Ren, Jared, Matt, Brandon, Nomad, and Tank, and it goes on and from there, but it's kind of fun to be able to see that. Let's go. You love to see it, Dill. Oh, gosh. I got to go to the portal. What in the world? What in the world? Come on. We can make it. Why was mentioned? Tanks is mentioned. You love to see it. Yeah, you can see it here. Um, you can see exactly how much time they've spent in the stream. And it only counts It only counts talking, like if you're talking in the stream for some reason. I don't know why it only counts that, but... I like to say I was MII for my eight months. That's true. That's true. Very busy with work. All right, we got to do some catalytic. Let's do some chaos runes. Here we go. It's looking good here. We got some more guardian fragments to turn into essence. Oh, I wish I could make that blood, but I cannot, unfortunately. <clears throat> Excuse me. In that case, bump. <laughs> there you go, teeters. You love to see it. Oh, look how satisfying this is. Ready? Oh, come on. Five, four, three. Oh, no, I'm one off. Never mind. I thought it was going to do it where it does exactly the right amount. Very sad. What do we get here? Cosmic. Okay. Or, I mean, uh, chaos. I mean, whoops. As long as I can make it over there in time. My goodness. About 20 seconds. I should be A-OK. -okay. Or is that not right? It's nine seconds. Right, right, right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we got it in. Very nice. Is there a way to change the channel text from being pink? It's hard for me to read. Um, are you talking about, like, in your chat box? Because, yes, there is a way to change that. Yeah, search chat settings, yeah. Chat settings should do it for you. Mine's yellow, I like yellow. Yeah, yeah, just go to your uh, your all settings right here and then hit chat colors, I think. Yeah, chat color and then you can change um, friend chat to whatever you want it to be right here. Okay, I'm a party pooper, but I'm falling asleep. No worries, Sarah, no worries. Just go down and select a color you want in group chat. Exactly, it should be a solid way to do it. Or the way to do it, I mean. Sarah's got an intricate pouch. Does she get a shield left half? No shield left half. Very sad. <laughs> green. Very nice. I have an olive tr green to not miss drop text. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I 
I got a pouch too. Let's see. Ooh, let's see, Dill. Let's see. I got that transparent chat with red text. Ooh, there you go. Astral runes. I guess that's good for a little bit of money, Dill. First pouch and pearls though, very nice. Sorry, I get a rigor rune pouch. Um, there's a few ways to get better rune pouches. Um, what's your rune crafting level, Dill? I'll ask that question first. Ooh, wrong chat. Only 43. I think with 43 you can use, let me see. You can use the medium pouch. So you, you can get it from Guardians of the Rift. Or you can go to the Abyss and kill any creature in the Abyss for a chance at getting the pouch. The Abyss is the fastest way to do it. If you go to the Fairy Ring in the Abyss, um, then it's not in the Wilderness and it's really easy to get. So it's 1 in 42 for any of them. So that's that's what I just did like an hour or like a couple hours ago to get mine. Being chaos, but oh well. Went to the abyss once and forgot how to even go there. Yeah, if you have, do you have access to fairy rings, Dill? Guardian guarding the rift, and you will have levels in all pouches. It's true. It's true. Or at least close, I suppose. Yeah, you do? Okay, good, good. So the way you want to do it then, Dill, is go to Fairy Ring. Um, let me see here. I'll tell you in just a second. You'll just go to Fairy Ring ALR. ALR is the Fairy Ring in the Abyss. Um... And uh, once you get there, just kill the small guys. Kill the uh, the abyssal leeches. Good night. Uh, kill the abyssal leeches, and then you'll be you'll be good there. To get it, one in forty-two. Tell me, my first reward point was a basic needle. Oh, geez, that's sad. Okay, thank you. No problem. No problem. BIP or BIS? Yeah, BIP. I'm trying to remember. I want to see if I can test my knowledge here. BIP is. BLP, I know, is uh, the best in... Is BIP one? Let's see. Mortmire Swamp. I did not know that one. Mortmire Swamp is BIP. BIS? I don't know if is that is one either. It's BIS. It probably is. I don't know if it is, actually. It doesn't look like it from the wiki. Big Insect Queen for Calfight Queen. That's Yes, that's a classic. That's a classic. Probably Tazar. BLP is Tazar. I know that one because uh, I always think Blowpipe. BLP, and that's a good way to remember that one for me because um, I used the Blowpipe a lot of the time during the, the fight caves when I was first doing it. So Nice way, yeah. I remember... Um, the funny way to remember uh what are the other ones that i know for the uh the legends guild i know blr is bad lip reading it doesn't have any significance to the actual um to the actual gar uh legends guild but i if you remember those videos bad lip reading that's what i always think of when i think of it got a few others cks sounds like canifis to me so i can remember that one DKP for other ones. Seagulls are the worst. <laughs> Such a classic video, honestly. Such a classic video. That's a lot of them, actually. AKP for TOA. Yeah, I always remember that one. I don't remember how I remember that one. Some of them I just remember, but... AKP. I know it's um, DIS for the... Uh... The, uh, the tower... The, the wizard's tower. It's funny, I can think of the location before I can think of the name. 
My favorite, absolute favorite is Bushes of Love, though. I don't remember that one. Which, what, which, uh, which, like, TV show or movie is that one from? Star Wars, classic. Star Wars, bad lip reading. I always like the Walking Dead ones because I, I love the Walking Dead. And uh, the bad lip readings are so funny to me for the Walking Dead. Those are just classic. All right, I'm supposed to be mining right now. There we go. Excuse me. Ever watched the literal videos from Tobuscus back in the day? I don't think I did. Tobuscus, I mean. I don't think I did. What are those? The literal videos. That sounds familiar. Maybe? Maybe I'm making that up in my brain. I don't know. Surely a portal soon. I've got plenty of fragments here. <clears throat> they were very good. Most of the game trailers he voiced over starting seeing what's happening. That's funny. I can imagine. I can imagine the vibe of the videos. Probably like, uh, I mean, not the same thing, but, you know, similar concept maybe to honest trailers or I guess they're game trailers more, though, from what you're saying. we got here we got some fire and some chaos i'll probably do fire nope i won't do fire because it's gone never mind i'll do water i guess <laughs> that's very sad <clears throat> lidros and i are matching each other in our ticks perfectly oh look at us we're literally still in oh no he picked up the water runes i saw that lidros lidros is saving up for that tebow he's gonna fund it through water runes at guardians of the rift <laughs> <laughs> I love the hustle. I love the hustle, Lidros. Hey, if it's there, I'm taking it. Honestly, free money. People are just littering all over the place. Like they're rich beyond belief. It's the frugality that will save us. <laughs> Thank you everyone for hanging out tonight, by the way. I'm having a really good stream. I always have good streams with you guys, but uh, tonight I'm having especially, especially having fun. So, I love you all, and maybe we'll get a nice, uh, a nice little pet tonight. That's my middle name, Frugal. I love it. I'd love to get the Abyssal Protector. I think it's such a good pet. I think it looks so cool. It's a little dorpy or derpy, I mean, but uh, it's a cutie nonetheless. Amen, mate. You love to see it, Teeters. All right, let's put these away here overpower the cell or whatever overcharge cell i mean it's been a blast sorry i disappeared early super tired can't focus that much oh no worries still not a problem at all not a problem whatsoever friend we'll be uh, hoping off in a sec but wanted to check the abyss now oh yeah nice very nice i think that's the bots mostly can't believe people drop blood in the garden drift oh gosh that would be unfortunate yeah All right, I'm going to do one more game here, and then I'm probably going to call it. Go edit some videos and whatnot. But I got one more game in me here, folks. One more game. Later, Dill. Yeah, we'll see you later, Dill, if you're heading out already. Could probably just stand there in the worlds to make a little money. Honestly, probably could, Nomad. Probably could.
What mini game should we do next? What mini game should we do next, guys? Like after after this event closes and I set up another one for uh, for uh, for the signups and everything. Soul Wars for sure. Ooh, Soul Wars could be fun. Soul Wars could be a lot of fun. Honestly, the best place to make free money, go to the Arania world. That's a good way to do it. Pick up all the free runes there. What's the most common skill everyone needs? That's a good question. People drop their mind, air, water, fire constantly. Good way to make a little extra cash. There's always Winter Todd. There's always... Oh, we already did Tempros, so probably wait to get through the cycle to get to Tempros again. But there's Soul Wars. There's... Um... Guardians of the Rift, which we're doing. There's Winter Todd, like I said. There's Last Man Standing, even, if we want to do a little PKing. <laughs> okay, do passive people need the set? Oh, Pest Control is good. Pest Control would be good. And and, and Barbarian Assault, too. Haven't done Winter Todd yet. Yeah, Winter Todd's a lot easier than this, honestly, Dill. A lot more laid back. Giant's Foundry. Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't even think about Giant's Foundry. That could be one, too. That could definitely be one. King of the Hill Agility Pyramid, pushing people off to the top. That's what that's what we need to do, really. On a PvP world, there we go. Get the real competition started. <laughs> We could do a Guild Knight Thieving Clan. Ooh, that'd be fun. Where someone just splashes, that'd be kind of fun. Get some thieving in there as well. That's true, get enough supplies for it. I'm done, I've been typing clan chat, no worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah, especially for Iron Man, that could be a little harder. I guess if we do it far enough in advance and then people could kind of sign up for it, we could do group Volumer Thieving. Oh, we could do that, Nomad, that's true too. Like group Skilling Knights in general could be a cool idea, honestly. Just de iron. <laughs> That's the way to do it, Nomad, huh? That's the real life hack here. Oh, I went 30 to 81 mining, mother of man without stopping. I has the supplies. Ooh, very nice. Darren really is a great idea. I'm down for it. <laughs> forestry would be interesting as well. Oh, we could do a little group forestry, yeah. If there's a skill of the week to sync it up with the mini games, that's smart. That's smart, actually. That's a really good idea. What is this week's skill of the week fishing? I guess we could have done Temporos this week. That would have been smarter of me <laughs> to plan that out a little better. Oh, I totally missed that. Very sad. What do I need here? I need catalytic. Let's do mind. We need a construction where everyone de-irons and gives me their planks. The Teeks and Varlam are going to be great for forestry. There you go. That's a great way to do it, Lidros. Dill MVP. Because I've done 100 Tempe this week. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Would have been good to do it this week, I suppose. Got the mute in just in time for the sneeze. Very nice. Yeah, that would have been good. What else is there? There's a lot of them, honestly. Oh wait, that makes me think, Monomad. Where are the Teeks in in uh, in, in Varlamore? Where exactly are they? Are they closest to a bank? Because that could be huge, actually, for Iron Man, for my group Iron Man right now. Near the frog quest. Okay, so the bank isn't super close then, I guess, but interesting, interesting. I don't think I'm going to make that portal, unfortunately. 
Maybe, maybe. No bank, yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> I guess what is the... Uh, I'll look it up here as I'm doing this, maybe. No, I don't have time in between these. Or even Motherload Mine. That's a good idea, CSG. Also, I don't know if I said hi, CSG. How are you? Can't remember if I said hi when you came in for the first time today. Nearest bank is the Coliseum. Oh, really? Does the Hunter Guild not have a bank, though? Could have a contest with cooking or crafting skill. See who gets the uh, the most number of items without G or trading. That could be cool. The problem is how to, like, um, monitor it, you know? Like, figure out how people are actually doing it. It's the same run, TBH. Oh, really? Okay, that makes sense, then. How are my points looking? What do I need to get here? Um, I'm eight and nine, so I need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more elemental. It looks like. Here's the best way to be to use the fairy ring to Zanaris. Right, right. I don't have fairy rings unlocked on my group Iron Man yet, unfortunately. DRG, DJR is closest ring to bank. Oh, is it really? I guess the uh, the um, the fire chasm or whatever. You can tell you in and out with close fairy ring. That makes sense. Pay dirt. You love to see it, Teeters. You love to see a little pay dirt. Oh, I should get tomorrow's stream set up here. Right next to the Shazian Banks. Yeah, that's a good shout. We could use Dark Mar Necklace and then House Tell it a Fairy Ring. <laughs> we'll check it. That's way too much work. Hey, it honestly could work, I suppose. <laughs> Oops, I definitely set that up wrong. One out of 256k Elemental Chaos Tossman, but no pouch yet. Very sad. Oh, that's unfortunate, Dill. But here's another idea. Use some LMLM to get the most gold ore in the time frame and make it a tourney bracket. That could be kind of fun. Just get crafting cape to save time on GIM for banking, obviously. That's the easy way to do it, right? That's the macro efficiency way to do it, Teeters. There you go. Trying to do this all at once. We've got that, we've got that. Set that for today at 10 p.m. There we go. Just getting tomorrow's stream set up so I can give you guys a link at the end of the stream to to click on. Chandler, do you have a channel on Discord for the competition events? I do, yeah. Are you talking about for like the um the skill of the week and boss of the week or we have a ton of channels for the events, like skill of the week and exactly, yeah. They're all on their tank if you haven't seen them yet. Oh, shoot, I totally messed this up. That's okay. Boston Weeds mini games and competitions ongoing. Yes, it's true. And I'm about to set up more competitions tonight as well. You have to fire up Discord. Yeah, exclamation point Discord in the chat. Or it's just it's just discord.gg slash Mr. Chandler tank as well. Okay, folks, I'm going to do my rewards now and see what I can get from this. Should be a good time. 
Pearls, I love pearls. More pearls, I love pearls. Dude, more pearls, no way. Three pearl poles in a row. Very nice. <clears throat> more pearls, please. More pearls, please. Nothing else. That's all right. That works out well. Potential auction for tracking the XP contest for games for contest. Screenshots posted in Discord before it begins and then after. That could work. That could work. Fairly sure one ores are mining level based. So the lower your level, the better off for that specifically. Oh, that's true. That's true. Really? I thought the gold was RNG based. Now, I think it is based on your level, actually. I think that is right. All right, let's put this away here. We'll put that right there, probably. Get that set away. Folks, thank you for joining me on tonight's stream. I had a really good time. I appreciate y'all being here. And uh, I love you all. I'm going to be live again tomorrow at 10 p.m. EST, as always. Um, and I'll go ahead and get you this link. If you wouldn't mind doing me a big favor, clicking on that link that I just put in the chat and click on the notify me button. That way Twitch, or not Twitch, YouTube will notify you when I go live. It'll get it into the algorithm a little bit more and it's a really good way to help me out there if you don't mind. So um, just know that I love you all. Thank you for hanging out. We had Teeters, Dill, Nomad, Tank, uh, CSG, Lidros. We had everyone here. We had a good night tonight. I'm probably missing a lot of names. Nomad as well. Um, Sarah, of course. Uh, just know that I love you all. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a good day. Don't forget your battle staffs. Thank you, Nomad. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night and a good day tomorrow. I love you, and uh, see ya! <laughs>